already weakened by several seasons of bad trading. The Happy Trails Caravan Company was devastated by the failure of its expedition. The new Canaanites never re-established ties with the caravan. Their experiences with outsiders near the Great Salt Lake and in Zion had been far too negative. Within six months, the Happy Trails Caravan Company was bankrupted and dissolved. Already weakened by several seasons of bad trading, the Happy Trails Caravan Company was initially discouraged by the results of its expedition. The fate of New Canaan and the evacuation of the sorrows from Zion made the prospect of trading seem fruitless. When Daniel told his family about the exploits of Happy Trails employee, the courier, however, New Canaan decided to repay the company's kindness. Twice per year, New Canaanites made the dangerous journey west to trade with a company in the city of New Reno. The Happy Trails caravan company could not survive on such trading alone. But the new Canaanites' generosity made tough times go easier. The defeat of the White Legs in Zion marked a turning point in the fortunes of the Happy Trails Caravan Company. Every two months, the caravan met with the new Canaanites in Zion Valley to trade. Happy Trails soon returned to prosperity. The vigilance of the sorrows and dead horses in defending southwestern Utah, initially startling to Happy Trails caravans, soon proved a blessing. The tribes united against the 80s, driving them back from Highway 50, and thus opening yet another trading route for Happy Trails caravans. <laughs>